Hello and welcome to Face Off here on France 24. For the first time in French history, a sitting president is likely to seek re-election through a primary contest. If the plan laid out this weekend by the Socialist Party is implemented, President François Hollande will face off with several rivals to be the party's candidate for next year's presidential election. If he so chooses, there is actually a good chance he could be eliminated given his abysmal poll number. He already has one declared adversary, his former economy minister, Arnaud Montbourg, and others are likely to throw their hats into the ring. With me to discuss the prospects of this very unusual primary on the left, Stefan de Vries, the Paris correspondent for the Dutch TV station RTL4, and Philip Troll from Radio France Internationale. So the Socialist Party announced that it would hold a primary at the end of January. This would be a couple of weeks after the Conservative uh, primary is held. Uh, President François Hollande said he would only declare his intention in December, clearly hinting that he would like to run, but also saying that he would do so only if he has a real shot at winning. His ex-minister, the flamboyant Arnaud Montbourg, who left because he disagreed with the pro-market policies of Hollande, believes he stands a good chance of winning. I've decided to run as a candidate in the socialist primary for the 2017 presidential elections. French people don't want to see a duel between two former presidents like in 2012, the two presidents who led us to where we are today. As soon as the system of primaries is accepted, you accept all the rules. And one thing is for sure, I would accept the result and would not cause divisions but bring people together. So, the Socialist Party announces we will hold the primary at the end of January. Uh, Arnaud Montbourg decides uh, to go ahead. Uh, obviously, everyone will wait to see what François Hollande will do, but it seems those primaries, which were really in doubt, are now going to happen. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of people thought that it wasn't, wasn't going to happen because François Hollande is not very happy with them. Uh, as you just mentioned, it would be the first time in history that a French president would need to seek re-election within his own party before becoming a candidate, which is, of course, already uh, a huge uh, defeat for François Hollande. It shows uh, how much he is not liked, how much his... Uh, um, his efforts, uh, his last four years as a president, uh, are very controversial, even within his own party. Uh, and now he has to, uh, well, he's, he's being humiliated, basically. Right. Uh, in a way, yes, this is a humiliation, because if he was popular, uh, basically, he could skip that primary stage and go directly uh, to uh, the election. On the other hand, if he is selected through this process, he will not have to face other people from within his own party, in most likely. Well, I think it's a little bit more subtle than just the fact that it's a humiliation for François Hollande going into this primary. I think François Hollande wanted the primary because within his own socialist party, there are deep divisions over those who favour what he's been doing and quite a lot of others who don't. Uh, Arnaud Montbourg, who you were just talking about before, is one of those who's been... Uh, against François Hollande, a vocal, vociferous critic of, of what he's done. There's another one called Benoit Hamon, who's also another candidate. But and also another former minister. Another former minister who walked out of the government over what he said were uh, mistakes by President Hollande during the, uh, the first part of his, uh, his presidency. So they're, they're both candidates in this primary. And I think that with a rebel group within the National Assembly, within the Socialist Party, these backbenchers who have been very outspoken against the government, François Hollande has managed to shut them up by bringing forward this primary and saying, OK, we'll have a primary. And therefore, once that primary is over and a candidate is chosen, if it's me, if I, if I run, then I'll be the candidate. If not, then I will concede to whoever is chosen. Um, but that will bring the party together to support that candidate, to stop it from breaking apart ahead of the election, which means certain defeat. Right, but uh, nevertheless, it hasn't happened uh, before. Do you think François Hollande didn't have a choice that if he wants to run, like he seems uh, to indicate in his uh, speeches, interviews and off-the-record comments, uh, he was forced to do this because this was not the plan? Well, I think he was morally forced. I mean, he's still the one who in charge. There's no legal ground 
uh, well, there's no legal necessity. Well, there are rules within the Socialist Party. Yeah, but you have to go through a primary, but they can be. Well, he could be, you know, he could, could be, be a changed. candidate. And technically, there are no parties at the presidential election. It's just a candidate. That's a strange thing of this system. Um, but I think he was morally. Uh, forced to approve this primary. Uh, but on the other hand, strategically, it's not very, um, it's, it's not a very bad choice because now he can eliminate uh, the, the discontent in, within his own party. Uh, there will be just one winner, and that means that, well, theoretically at least, the party will still exist uh, in the next couple of months because the Socialist Party in France is, is really doing badly. Uh, a lot of people are leaving the party, a lot of, uh, uh, they ha don't have a lot of members anymore. There may be about 80,000, which is really, really sm a small party actually, 80,000 paying members. Um, so this party is basically, well, it, it, it's, it's distinct almost. Right. Uh, one other worry, of course, is uh, how François Hollande would fare in such a primary. A poll was taken showing that he would lose out uh, to Arnaud Montebourg in the second round of such a primary, 52 for Arnaud Montebourg, 48 to François Hollande. And it's not that Arnaud Montebourg has been riding very high in the polls. None of the socialist would-be candidates for a primary are riding very high. Nevertheless, it seems that at least one of them, perhaps others, would beat François Hollande in such a primary. Well, there's, there's a big question mark over a member or a former member of the government who we don't know whether or not he's going to be a candidate. Yeah, and that's Emmanuel Macron. Now, right. this little plan that has been put forward by François Hollande to accept these primaries was for, I think, François Hollande to say, well, as I'm president of France, I am above everybody else. I'm the best placed person to win the primary, to, resemble, to, to bring together the, uh, the Socialist Party and to be the legitimate candidate for the left. That will shut up all the, all the backbenchers, all those who disagree with me because they'll have to support me to reunite behind me. And I think I can beat Montbourg and the others. Um, Arnaud Montbourg has seen, I think, some of the what he would have liked to have seen as um, growing support for him from within the party taken away by Emmanuel Macron, who's the former uh, finance minister, who's now... Who succeeded him, actually. Succeeded him and who's now left the party, left the government, wasn't even a member of the party. He's not a socialist, his... he's not going to run. We don't know if he's going to run and he's not going to go through the primary. Exactly. So, uh, But he's very popular. So that has taken away, I think, some of the impetus from what um, Arnaud Montbourg thought would be the energy behind a campaign for him to become ne the next president of France. He's seen that taken away for the moment by Emmanuel Macron. And that's also upset François Hollande's plans for the Socialist Party primaries because he thinks that, well, if I can defeat Macron and I can make myself the legitimate candidate, which I am because I'm president of France, then I'll be the one to go forward. But it wasn't without, uh, without thinking about what Emmanuel Macron would um, uh, personify in this. So now we need to know, is Macron going to run or not? Uh, Macron's not going to take part in the primary, but will he be the candidate on the left? Will it be Arnaud Montbourg or will it be François Hollande? That is still right open. And I think that all three candidates for the moment don't really know. And as a result of the fact that we don't know whether François Hollande is going to run or not. It's probably the worst kept secret because everybody thinks he will run. And I think he wants to run. But uh, he said he won't run if his A, popularity doesn't increase a bit. And secondly, if he doesn't bring down the unemployment rate. And for the moment, that doesn't show any sign of coming down. Right. Uh, but there's a real risk. Uh, if Emmanuel Macron, who's faring better than François Hollande in the polls now, runs, uh, that there would be there will be no candidate of the left in the second round and that there would be a face-off between the conservative candidate also designated through a primary and Marine Le Pen from the National Front. Well, if you have to believe the polls uh, already for months and months, that's the scenario. The, 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 the main election will actually take place at the end of November. The, the, the conservative primary, the, the person who will win that primary will be France's next president. That's almost sure. Um, the, the only thing that François Hollande can do in the Socialist Party is to limit uh, the, the defeat. Uh, that's basically it. They have to save uh, what's there to be saved, but it's, it's very sure. Uh, well, you, you never can entirely trust the polls, of course, but it, it really indicates that it's going to be extremely hard for any left-wing candidate to be present in the, in the second round. So it's, it's basically a, a, um, a, a primary for, for losers, the, the Socialist Party. And there's something else which is very important that I think uh, is preoccupying a lot of people within the Socialist Party is not only the fact that they may not even make it through to the second round 
of the two-round presidential election system in France. But immediately that is over, there are legislative elections which follow on immediately afterwards. And if the Socialist Party remains as unpopular as it is at the moment, and their candidate doesn't even get through to the second round of the presidential election, a lot of those members of the Socialist Party are terrified that once the legislative elections come along, they're going to lose their seats in the National Assembly. So that is another worry that is also coming along after the fact that, well, we're also worried about the presidential election, but afterwards, well, we might always, or we might all lose our seats. So the, the Socialist Party is desperately trying to find a way of joining together to try to limit the, the damage and hopefully limit the number of seats that will be lost in the legislative elections which take place after the presidentials. So those primaries are now scheduled for uh, late uh, January. Who will come out on top? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's a $1 billion question. Um, I think François Hollande, uh, well, may have a slight chance, but uh, looking at the polls, I know Montebourg is doing pretty well, but then again, it's in, in three, four months, a very long time in politics, a lot of things can change. Uh, if the unemployment really goes down before the end of the year, which I think is highly unlikely, then François Hollande may have a chance, and otherwise it's, it's just uh, finished for François Hollande. Okay, I think it will be François Hollande. If François Hollande doesn't run, We'll have to find out whether Manuel Valls, the Prime Minister, may run, and he will probably beat uh, Arnaud Montbourg. I think Arnaud Montbourg's chances have been severely diminished by uh, Emmanuel Macron, even though Macron's not part of the Socialist Party, he was a, a minister and succeeded Montbourg in the Socialist government. It depends on what um, Macron wants to do. I think it's between Hollande will come first, Macron may come second, if Hollande doesn't run, then I think it could be either Valls if he runs or Macron. A bit complicated to understand all of that, but complicated. Uh, that's, that's the way it's looking at the moment. But I'm sure we'll come back to this. Yes, we'll come back with we'll probably... We'll be a bit uh, clearer about what's going on. Yes, obviously, uh, everyone will wait for the final word from the president himself. He said it would be in December when he'll tell the French people what he intends to do next year. Thank you very much for watching this edition of Face Off. We'll see you next week here on France 24.